it's important to know how to access the different databases that the library holds. There's a couple different options for accessing them. You can use the database A to Z list or the databases by subject list. You would want to use the A to Z list if you know exactly what database you're going into. Sometimes your professor might give you a very specific one that they want you to go into. So this is when you'd use the databases A to Z list. If you're not sure and you just want to get an idea of what databases might be helpful for your own major or for the class that you're in, you can select databases by subject. We'll click into each one to see how those work. We'll start with databases A to Z. It pulls you into this screen here. You'll see all the different databases um, alphabetically. You can select one, scroll down, find which one you're looking for. I'm clicking on education full text. It will ask you to log in one more time and then you'll be pushed into the database. The other option is databases by subject. So selecting that and then scrolling down to your major or the class that you're taking. And you can see a list of all of the databases that might be helpful for that particular subject. Clicking into any of these will push you into the database and you can start accessing material. It's very important that you make sure you are accessing these databases through the library's website because that's how you have the free access. If you were to Google EBSCO or JSTOR just on the open web, it wouldn't push you in the same way and it might prompt you to pay for it. So we don't want that to happen. So make sure that when you're accessing the databases, come to the library's website and utilize one of these two options.